This is going to be a tutorial on how to set perfect tensions on a DIY. And by perfect tensions, I mean the tensions that I use, which will not be perfect for everyone. All you will need is your DIY, preferably never built before, but you can also take your old one apart if you want to reset the tensions. And, of course, you'll need your 12 edges, 8 corners, 6 center caps, Six screw and washer combinations if you are using a CubeView brand DIY, or screw, small, uh, big washer, screw, uh, spring, small washer, the core, and six center pieces. The only extra materials that you will need is a Phillips headed screwdriver, or a star screwdriver, as some people call it, and Silicone spray. I prefer Jigaloo, but any regular silicone spray works. CRC brand is another great brand to use if you can't find Jigaloo. So, I will skip through all the boring stuff. And what you will want to do is put all of the screws inside their center caps. And the way I put the center caps on is instead of holding the core and twisting this into it, I hold the center cap with the Phillips head on the end under my arm like this, push down on the table or my stomach, and pull the center cap back to expose as much of the screw as necessary. Uh, it will probably won't focus. Actually, there it will. What you want to do is take your core and your screw and screw the core onto your centerpiece and your screw. You don't want to screw the centerpiece onto the core. It may take a little uh, muscle at first, but it is very easy to screw on. Now there, that's not nearly enough. You want to get it very, very tight. Once you have screwed in one centerpiece which it, with its screw and spring, you want to make sure that you can only pull it apart this much. That is very, very little. This will pr create a very, very tight cube. But that's it. that is exactly what you want. Because you can easily get all of them to be about this size. As soon as you start to make the gaps bigger, it's harder to judge by eye um, the distance between the piece and the core, which means that your spring tensions will be different when you start, which means they will be different every time you try to change the tension. Now that you have put all six arms on your core, and when you pull them apart, you can see that they're about the same distance on each one. Oops. You want to make sure that they're about the same distance between the piece and the core on both sides. And then if you want, you can pull two apart like this. And if I can get the camera to show it, you can get those two gaps the same. Move this a little bit. Those two gaps are the same, which means that these two and these two, all four of these are the same. Then you do that with these, and there you go. All of them are at the same tension. And now, you assemble your cube. Now that you've assembled your cube, you will, f you will probably find out while you are assembling it that it is extremely hard to get a few pieces in. Usually, the last piece of the F2L layer when you finish building it, and the last two edges on the top layer. Now with this cube not lubricated, and the tensions are completely as tight as they can, you can't even turn it with one finger. Barely. It, this is a terrible speed cube. This is worse than a store-bought cube. Now, the good thing about this cube is, the reason this is better than a store-bought, is all the tensions are the exact same. Which means, if you take your screwdriver and put it into a screw, if you do 180 degrees all the way around, on every side, then all of them will still be at the exact same tension. So what I do from this stage, when it's extremely tight and I can't even pop out a piece without a screwdriver, is I go around to each side and loosen them a full turn. 100, 360 degrees. Do that on every side. After loosening each screw the same amount, 360 degrees, one turn, you can tell that the cube is already a lot better. You can finger trick it, you can cut corners with it, pref not necessarily as good as you may want to, but it's already a very good cube. And at this point, this is where I would pop out one edge, two corners, take my silicone spray, and spray three squirts inside of Jigaloo, or as much as you want of silicone, but probably about the same, three to five squirts. Then once you've done that, 
if you use Jigaloo, quickly put the corners and edge back in and start to work it in. I usually do the 24 move thing, which is 12 sets of the double finger trick to work it into every piece and then you just start randomly scrambling it. Now as you can tell, this cube is already very nice. But now all you need to do is the final adjustments. Play around with it a little bit, and if you think it's too tight, loosen all of them the same amount. So for me, about, about now, I would loosen all of them half a turn, which is 180 degrees. And there is your final product. This is what your cube's tensions will be, unless you change them, obviously. But this is a very nice cube. I will be adjusting it ever so slightly after I test solve it a couple times. But as you can see from this tutorial, you can get perfect tensions on your DIYs, either assembled already or not assembled, just by taking them apart and following this tutorial. You'll get perfect tensions every time. So, thank you for watching this tutorial, and now all we need is a few colors and a cool solve.